Coming to you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, by way of Stone Mountain, Georgia, birthed by the great state of South Carolina, is the Bryant Land Country Podcast, your place for any and everything in hunting, fishing, sports, and outdoor related, with heavy doses of randomness, guests, and an all-around good time. Here's your host, proud Gamecock, South Carolina Forever, AB3. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for choosing again to come on in and sit down, listen to another episode of the Bryant Land Country Podcast, first podcast of 2020. Awesome to be able to do this. Also awesome that the holiday season is officially over. O V A. Over. Glad to get through the holidays. Hope you guys had great holidays. Got to spend time with family, friends. Maybe got out to do some hunting. But now the holidays are over. The new year begins. And 2020 is here. For me, it's starting off uh, with a little bit of a disappointment I put together a plan to roll out some new stuff for the podcast for the first podcast of 2020 you know I wanted to come back with a new open I wanted to come back with some new graphics Uh, we got a new title of the podcast the podcast is going to change um, as far as like the title once all of that stuff is together because I wanted to roll it out all at one time. But to uh, my disappointment, everything is not ready. The open's done. Uh, I know the title. I'm just waiting on the graphics. Uh, so a little bit of a disappointment to start the new year. But it also kind of feeds in to my thought process about the new year. You know, a lot of people are big, you know, new year, new me, stepping in, stepping over, stepping out, you know, all this other stuff, New Year's resolutions. And for me, it's just another day. You know, the calendar flips, uh, you add another year on, uh, you definitely are thankful uh, that you get to see said year, but here for us at Bryant Land and for the podcast, there's not a whole lot of resolutions or new me, new you, or any of that stuff like that. You know, we're just going to keep on doing what we do, and that is putting out great podcasting audio content for you guys who have been dedicated listeners for us since we began this podcast so we're really not like I said big on the whole resolution deal really not big on you know the new me new you but it's you know a little disappointing because like I said I wanted to roll out you know new music new open new graphics all that good stuff and it is not ready uh so hopefully here in the coming weeks We could get it all together, everything will be ready, and we'll have all of that stuff to roll out for you guys in the new year. But for the rest of you, maybe you guys have resolutions, or maybe you guys set some goals, some things that you want to do for the new year. So hit us up on the old social media and let us know what you're thinking for the new year, maybe, you know, you like I said, you got some goals, maybe you got some resolutions, maybe you want to lose five pounds so you can fit in better in your deer stand, maybe you want to lose 15, 20 pounds so you can get into those favorite deer hunting overalls or duck hunting waders or whatever the case is, maybe, like I said, just you want to be a better you or feel better about yourself or whatever, but whatever it is. Hit us up on the old uh, social media, official Bryant Land on the Instagram, uh, Bryant Land on Facebook. Uh, let us know if you got those New Year uh, resolutions or things that you want to do better going into the new year. Bryant Land. Now, this year, 
for New Year's Eve. I was in Florida on a work trip uh, last year. I was driving back from Arkansas from a duck hunting trip down in um, down in Arkansas there, and had a good time. wasn't the most successful trip, but this year, you know, I had to work, so I bought in the new year, like I said, working down in Florida. But one of the things that I did do while I was down there was just kind of think back on my hunting, you know, and how and what kind of hunting I've been doing, especially since I've been able to move back and live here in Georgia. You know, I took a job that allowed me to uh, come back and live here in Georgia over the uh, summer, well, the summer of 19. Um, so basically since I've been home, I've been doing a lot of deer hunting and I'm doing deer hunting, deer hunting with a bow. Haven't even picked up a rifle. Uh, cause you guys know, I really enjoy bow hunting and I was out on, you know, my land doing some, uh, late season bow hunting. You know, we still got about a week or so left here in the county that I hunt in, in Georgia. Um, I wish I had some of that good Metro Atlanta land because I could uh, hunt all the way to January 31st. But anyway, out hunting today as we record this podcast, the second day of uh, 2020, and I was just sitting in my stand, sitting in my climber, real you no know, peace and quiet, enjoyed being in the woods, and I just started thinking, you know what? Dang it, I really love this. And sometimes when we're out hunting, you know, we get so caught up in, you know, trying to make a kill or trying to, you know, get that hitless buck or that big boss turkey or whatever the case is, you know, whatever you're hunting. Or even if you're fishing, you know, you get so caught up in trying to grab that big bass and whatnot. But sitting today in my climber, it was a very cloudy Overcast kind of kind of day, rainy uh, down here in Georgia, but it allowed me to just think. And like I said, I kind of had an epiphany. It was like, you know, God dang it, I love this. And, you know, when I was living in Milwaukee, it afforded me the opportunity to go goose hunting a lot down in Illinois. Uh, when I was living in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I'd just drive over the border, made friends with a – Great outfitter, actually a couple of um, outfitters and guys down there in Illinois that, you know, would take me out uh, and I would go, you know, goose hunting with those guys. And it seemed like I was going almost every week, uh, sometimes twice a week, but definitely almost every week or every other week. And being there, that's what the opportunity afforded me. Now that I'm back down here in Georgia and living in Georgia, my goose hunting opportunities aren't as plentiful. The duck hunting opportunities aren't as plentiful for me. And I've really enjoyed this season throwing myself into deer hunting, throwing myself into bow hunting more. This is the most intensive, the most deer hunting I've done since I've started doing this. And I've enjoyed learning what I've learned, piecing together the puzzle to crack the code on these deer. And, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine and they was just like, well, it's probably, you know, regional or it's probably, you know, you you gravitate to what you can do where you live. And, and I think that's true. You know, like I said, when I was up in the Midwest, it was this time of the year, I was out, you know, chasing geese and getting my, uh, my goose limit getting some uh, nice, big, hefty Illinois goose. Um, I shot a couple of what I call trophy geese uh, up there, just big, long wingspans, big, hefty geese. And it was a blast. You know, I had a good time. I really enjoyed doing it. But it's something about being on your own land, learning the terrain, learning the creeks and crevices and you know the hollers and creeks and stuff like that and like I said just putting together a puzzle and cracking the code and trying to get 
the deer that you want. I mean, I was already a big bow hunter. Um, that was the first thing when I started hunting that I was drawn to. You know, I was drawn to bow hunting. And just to be home, you know, these last few months and be able to get out there, go deer hunting, you know, almost two, three times a week, way more than I was ever able to go when I lived in the Midwest. It's just been a blast for me. And one of the things I'm looking forward to in the new year is being able to continue to perfect my skills as a bow hunter and, and get better. You know, there only a handful of people are really fortunate to be able to perfect, you know, different types of hunting. You know, for the most part, if you're a diehard, you know, waterfowler, you usually you don't mess with deer or turkeys or hogs too much because waterfowling is your thing. I mean, uh, there's very few guys that. You know, they're waterfowling their thing, deer hunting's their thing, you know, turkey hunting's their thing, and they have all the resources and everywhere to do, you know, all those things and to be great at it. Uh, I'm not talking about, yeah, I do it because I like it. I'm talking about great. For me, going forward this year, deer hunting, turkey hunting, those are the things that I want to get even better at and get really, really good at. Doesn't mean I don't want to go duck hunting. Doesn't mean I don't want to go goose hunting. But the reality is the money that it takes, you know, with equipment and time and scouting and all like that, it, it, and then having a family, you know, it wears me thin. So if anything, I'm going to put a lot of my energies into becoming a better deer hunter, becoming a better turkey hunter, uh, with my bow, same thing with the uh, hogs, uh, especially down here in Georgia, and, you know, throw my all at it and see where it takes me. Now, my plan for this year will still be the same as it was last year when we started this podcast, and that is to drop every week, and when we drop every week, to have a guest that can bring something to the table, whether it's great stories, great knowledge, history, or just an interesting personality. My you know, thing this year is there will not be a lot of episodes with me just bumping my gums because there are too many great stories and too many great people that are out there who need a platform, need uh, a light, if you will, shine on them so the world can know what it is they're doing and what they got going on out there. So, like I said, I enjoy bumping my gums for you guys. I don't know if you guys always enjoy listening to me just when I look at the download numbers when it's just me as opposed to having a guest, but the fact still remains that the Bryantland Country Podcast, a.k.a. the Bryantland Show, uh, which is what this is going to be called once everything gets together and everything gets packaged, is going to still be about bringing the best guest from the hunting, outdoor, fishing, sports, ATVs, just anybody that's doing something great outdoors. I mean, I want to get guests on. Uh, more guests on talking about farming. You know, towards the end of the year last year, we had Christopher Joe on from the uh, from the Joe Farm down there in Alabama, uh, Angus Farmer, and we had him on just talking about farming and hunting. The two go hand in hand. So I want to get more guests on. You know, talking about that. You know, talking about cars and stuff. I love you know big lifted trucks. You know, I'm trying to get a couple of guys on, come in and talking about trucks and their truck builds and things of that nature, but and then we're still going to stick to at our core, you know, hunting, chasing deer, hogs, turkeys as the seasons start rolling over, ducks, pheasants. You know, I wanted to get somebody on last year um, talking about pheasant hunting. That's something that I haven't done yet. Um, it's something that I'm looking to do. Doves, you know, dove is its own niche. In itself, I haven't really, I've never been on a dove hunt, 
you know, I want to have someone on about that. And then one of the other things that I've been looking at too, and I got a guest in mind, I just got to reach out to him, uh, is just dogs and what goes into having a good hunting dog, what goes into, you know, the nutrition exercise things like that you know i i don't own any kind of animals as far as you know like dogs or anything like that i want to know more about that and i think there are some people that are out there doing great things and that have a lot of knowledge and i can bring that knowledge to you and they might you know be doing their own thing but hey let's take a light shine it on them and let them come in and explore you know let them come in and use our platform you know to give you guys this knowledge you're gonna come get this knowledge on the bryantland country podcast this year or the bryantland show as it's gonna be called like i said once everything gets together i know i keep beating a dead horse but you know i'm ready to make the change i got the open done man the open listen if you think the music for this open is as Theo once said, jamming on the one. The music that I got coming up, man, blow this here out the water. Blow this music here out the water. Dope track for the new open this year. So I'm just ready to get it done, ready to get started. You know, we got 51, Lord willing, 51 more episodes, 51 more weeks to give you guys the best podcast, the best guest, the best audio out there in the biz to me in the outdoor recreation category. I think this podcast, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot, this podcast has the best guest and is the best podcast in the outdoor recreation, hunting, fishing categories all out here in the world. But I'm biased because I put it on, but I'm just saying. So can't wait to get started. Can't wait to get the guest on, bring the knowledge to you guys. Brightland. All right, I'm going to put a bow on this first podcast of 2020. Go ahead and get ready to get up out of here. But before I go, I just want to remind you all, BryantlandCountry.com, the website, BryantlandCountry.com, has everything you need. Bryantland, everything. We got merch, we got podcasts, we got videos, everything Bryantland, everything for hunting, outdoor fishing, ATV riding, all that good stuff, everything with this country living, we got it all on the Bryantland, the country.com website. Make sure you check that out. Thank you again uh, for hitting the podcast, mashing the five-star rating button. Really appreciate that, man. Last month, we had the highest rated month of the podcast. We closed out with a bang, man. And it's because of y'all. The most downloaded month was last month. I mean, we this thing was bubbling and bubbling and building and building. And as far as I'm concerned, it's still it's still bubbling. You know, I got, you know, numbers in my mind that I want to hit before I say that it's balling over. But man, just the continuous growth of the downloads and the listeners and the followers and stuff for the podcast. I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you for a great December, but December's over. We're in January. I need more downloads. I need more people listening. I need you guys to continue to spread the word about the best podcast in the outdoor recreation category, hunting, fishing, all that stuff. This podcast right here is where it's at. Thank you for continuing to support us. Like I said, I'm going to get ready to get up out of here, and I'm going to catch y'all next week on another episode of the Bryantland Country Podcast, fixing to be the Bryantland Show. Thanks for listening to the Bryantland Country Podcast, hosted by AB3. Please leave us a positive review and five-star rating on iTunes. Be sure to check out our podcast section on our website, bryantlandcountry.com, for previous podcasts. 
Check us out on Instagram at Official Bryant's Land and Twitter at 3 Bryant Land. This has been an AB3 Media Production. Join us next time for another edition of the Bryant's Land Country Podcast.